And friends of Hussein still struggling with yesterday's attack. Today, 200 people from his community gathered. Team coverage continues now with Sayed Shabir, who today spoke to friends of Hussein. Sayed? Well, Justin, I also spoke with some of the family members, and they are very overwhelmed with grief, as you can imagine. But they are turning to their community and their faith for support. The Muslim community, not just here at the Somali Center, but all across the metro, are grieving the loss of this young Muslim man. And tonight, they're hoping to raise some awareness to avoid future violence. Nearly 200 Muslims gathered at the Somali Center Friday afternoon to pray for the family of 15-year-old Abdi Samad Sheikh Hussein. Oh, he's a, a loving a boy that was growing and uh, a very polite, a respect to everybody. He's like one of those people who you can go and talk to. And like, he was just very good friend. He was the son of one of the religious leaders at the mosque and was quickly growing into a leader himself. He used to lead the prayer and like before he died, he was leading the prayer. Then he went outside after like 30 minutes. Then the incident happened. For this tight-knit community, the loss hurts even more, knowing the man responsible had made recent threats against the Muslim community. And he had signs on his van saying Ebola, uh, his Quran is worse than Ebola. The hateful remarks and threats have triggered an investigation from the FBI. And now Muslims across the metro hope to educate people about their faith. If there is a silver lining here, this is our opportunity as a Muslim community in, in Kansas City metro area to use this and reach out and, and educate people and talk to them and engage them and let them know that um, Islam stands for peace. We are part of this community. We will be here and we would like uh, to live among this community uh, in peace. And some of the young folks in the community here plan on hosting a peace walk in his honor. The family tells me they are planning a funeral tomorrow afternoon at the Islamic Center of Greater Kansas City. Reporting live tonight, Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.